Hi there, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a cartoon character talk in Anime Studio. Tutorial. Now as you can see I have already created two different characters uh, on the screen with a background behind it. And in fact people who are subscribed to my channel know that this is a reoccurring scene in my own cartoon show. Uh, the husband and wife talking to each other and uh, what we are going to do right now is we are going to make this little man uh, talk right now and so what we are going to do is first we are going to make uh, his mouth movements ready uh, for talking uh, then we are going to record the audio file and then we are going to import the audio into anime studio and then we are going to do lip syncing on the character now I have a previous previous tutorial on how to do lip syncing uh, that goes more in detail of it so if you want to know more about that uh, I put a link of that video at the end of this video so anyway uh, let's just get started so first what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in a little bit on this man right here like this and I'm going into his bone layer which is right here into his head and right here you see the layer of his mouth and you see that it is a switch layer which means it has uh, different layers inside of it and if I would click on the right mouse right here you can see you can choose between the layers right now it's unclosed but if I click on open you see his mouth is open right now so let's turn it back to closed and what we are going to do is we are going to window and then actions and now while you're on the mouth layer you're going to make a new action by clicking here and we'll name it talking short and click OK so what we are going to do now we are going to move to frame the, the second frame frame 2 and you click on your right mouse and you click on open so now right on this frame it's open it's and here it's closed so then you go two frames further to frame four and then you click on closed again so now it goes from open to closed so this is uh, the short talking then we are going back to the main line and then I'm going to make a second action and I call it talking long and click okay and we are going to do the same thing again but then with a bit more bit longer than the first one so we're going to frame uh, two again click on open then we are going two frames further frame four and then we are clicking on closed again then once again we are going to frame six and this time I just select these right here and I go to edit copy edit and paste then I'm going, uh, yeah, right here, two frames further, and I'm doing the same thing again. I'm going to edit, and I click on paste. So now if you go back, you see it's from open to closed, open, closed, and so on. So now that we have done that, it's ready to, uh, to uh, talk, basically. So now we are going to record the audio file and we are going to record the audio with audacity and you can get audacity for free on the internet just type in audacity on google and uh, click on the first page and then you get it for free so when you have done that uh, of course you need to have a good microphone i myself have uh, the blue yeti and uh, it's important to have a good uh, microphone because uh, then you have good quality uh, for the voice so um, now i'm going to click on record right here and I'm just going to uh, say something in a bit of a cartoonish voice oh Henriette why can't you leave me alone once in a while there we go so if I play oh Henriette why can't you leave me alone once in a while this is what we are going to use as a audio file so first uh, in order to get it better you select a part of the, the the file that doesn't have any uh, any sound and you go to effect and you click on noise removal and then you're clicking on get noise profile 
then you select the whole audio file and you are going to effect and noise removal again and you click on OK. So then what happens is the background noise uh, is getting removed. So now we are going to remove all the parts that doesn't have the, the, the voice and then we are selecting the object again and then we go to effect and we click on normalize so now it's ready to go and now I'm going to file and I'm going to export the audio and I have made a map for it I'm going to put it here and I'll just name it uh, dialogue for right now click on so, so there we go now we are going back to anime studio and what I'm going to do I'm going to put the audio right above the living room uh, bone layer I'm going to file and then import audio audio file and we're already on the map so click on dialogue and then you have it right here and then if you can play it right here oh, Harriet, why can't you leave me alone once in a while this is what we want the character to say right now so um, let's go to the mount back to the mount and as you can see we have these actions that we have just created right here and what you're going to do you're going to the point where you have uh, the sound you can see it right here and you're going right right here and what you just do first we start with talking long you click on the action talking long one time and you put it right here and then you see the action is on on the timeline right now and you can just copy it copy it and paste and do this and you can do this of course over and over again copy and paste and just do the same thing again paste and finally this is why talking short for the last few parts we are going to use talking short and you put it right here and you do the same thing with talking short and once again kind of like in this thing there we go there this is fine so now if you uh, would zoom out right now and we click this away and you would play oh Henriet, why can't you leave me alone once in a while so there we go now we have uh, our cartoon character uh, talk mm -hmm. so that's uh, how you do that uh, anyway guys I hope you f uh, found this very helpful and like I said I have another tutorial uh, that goes more in detail on how to do lip syncing so be sure to check that out and anyway I hope you guys uh, learned a lot, of, a lot about this and I hope to see you in the next video if you like this video and you want to learn more about Anime Studio, then please subscribe to this channel. I put weekly tutorials on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. I also make animations myself. I upload them within one or two months, so if you're interested, you can watch those too. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.